Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. And on this episode, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, how to be able to merge conveyors together so that you can get um, your full amount of items on a conveyor. Um, when I was working on the Mega Coal Factory, um, I did kind of discover some things that I was doing wrong. And I just wanted to share those points with you so you uh, could get a better idea of working with conveyors in your own build. So sit back, relax, and let's jump into it. All right. So first things I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you kind of what I was doing wrong. So um, we're over in the desert here and there was four iron nodes that are relatively close here. Now they're all impure. They're crappy nodes. Uh, I'm getting, uh, I've got overclocked can, or overclocked miners set up on them um, that are pulling 300 items per minute. So we have technically 1200 items per minute here. And uh, what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to try to like merge a couple of these together uh, so that we can get up to at least 600 items per minute. Um, so I'm just going to grab a merger here under logistics. Let's go down, throw a merger in. And we want our output out that way. So uh, when you're dealing with these, you can actually click them right into the conveyor if you're ever working on them. You just have to be aiming at the conveyor when you click it, and it will link it to that conveyor. If you aim at the ground, it won't actually link it to the conveyor properly, and um, stuff won't feed through. So aim for the conveyor, click on it, and then we're going to pull this one down and that's not going to work because of the silly angle that I'm on here. Um, let's go this way and then back in. Come on. You, you know you want to. Apparently it doesn't want to. There we go. Now we got it working. Boom. Okay, so now we have, this is 600 items per minute coming out on this line. Um, we're just going to throw another one of these here and another one on top and delete this one. This line feeds in, and then I'm just going to grab a couple of lifts here. So just bear with me while I grab this one. We're going to throw that right there and there. This conveyor line can come down to it. And then, oh, we'll grab another couple of these to put this here and here. Bam. Okay, now we have two conveyors that are 600 items per minute that are running on them. Pretty straightforward. We're merging two lines, but we're not getting to the max capacity of what the belt is doing. So this is 600 items per minute. This is 600 items per minute. I'm using Mark V belts, so they're capable of doing 780 items per minute. So this is what I was like. I wanted to have um, to try to get my belts running at 780 items per minute. And first things first is I'm going to show you what I was doing wrong. So I would bring this conveyor out like this and it would be running along. And then I would throw in, uh, we'll just bring this down a level so it's easier to work with. Removing that. I would go ahead and I would throw in, say, a merger right here. Because this is where everything is going to merge in at. And I'm just going to bring this down like so. And then we're going to bring this all the way over this way. Give it a 90 degree turn and feed it in. And then I'm going to throw in a smart splitter here. And I'm going to drop this in. And I'm going to set this smart splitter up as overflow on the right hand side. So I'm thinking, OK, this is 600 items per minute going this way. This is going to feed 600 to here, but it's only going to take what it needs, which will leave. So that's what uh, 180 is what it's going to need. So if we do some simple math on that, 600 minus 180 uh, should be 420 items. Yeah, it, 420 items per minute coming out on this uh, extra line that's here. It's kind of my logic that I was thinking behind it. Oh, that'll work totally fine. We'll have one line that's running at 780 items per minute and one line that's running at 420. But uh, I wasn't very smart about this. And I'm going to throw down some awesome sinks here and I'm going to show you why this wasn't very smart. All right, so I've thrown down some awesome sinks here and we're just going to power these up so we can see what happens when they're up and running. 
And, of course, initially, right off the bat, things are going to be a little bit stuttery because our conveyor lines are quite full um, because each of the miners have a full inventory on them. But this is what I want to look at here. So basically, my thought on this was, oh, hey, this this won't be an issue at all. We're going to have 600 items per minute flying this way. And I know some of you right off the bat are going, oh, you're doing that wrong. You're a dork. You, you're not paying attention to what's actually happening. And then um, 180 is coming this way and 420 is going that way. But it's not actually happening. I never really thought about this. When you're using these mergers they almost need like a a smart merger or something like that where you can control the amount of products that's flowing through it but the way the mergers work is if there's materials available on each side of this it's going to call each one of these openings in a sequence we'll call this side one two and three and it's going to say it's going to look at one do you have anything no okay it's going to look at two do you have anything yep let one go through do you have anything on number three? Yep, let one go through. So it ends up alternating back and forth between these two conveyors. So yeah, you've got this overflow set up here and it's sending items off to the awesome sink. And you know, we are getting 700 items, 780 items into this, but we're not getting the actual 420 items flowing into this conveyor. Because if you look at this main line here, this bottom one that's coming in at 600 items per minute, it's stuttering. It's not running smooth. And that's because there's still overflow happening on this line because it's alternating back and forth between these two lines. I should have realized this. I just, I didn't realize it. And I was dumb for not thinking about that. But I'm thinking, surely to goodness, I'm not the only one the thought of this as well. Because you can see this line here, it's cruising along, it's running at a pretty good clip, it's getting its 600 items because it's splitting it equally and it's heading off to wherever it needs to go. But then this line here is stuttering. So we need to fix this so that it's properly load balancing this and properly sending that 420 items to that top conveyor. So let's quickly do some dismantling here and assemble this to how it should be when you're trying to split off these materials. Okay, so I've made some changes here. So now each one of these miners are bringing their 300 items per minute. They're hitting this first merger here and we're combining them so that we get two lines of 600 items per minute. So we have these two lines, top and bottom are running 600 items per minute. Now let's follow this bottom line. We're coming down here and we're hitting this first smart splitter. I've got it set for I want its priority to go out through the center output and continue on this bottom line here. And then I have this set to overflow on the left hand side and it shoots up and hits this top conveyor. Now this second line of 600 items per minute, it's hitting this smart splitter. Here's where I've got it different as I have the center line set to overflow so overflow continues on the top conveyor and it prioritizes its items down to this bottom merger so that this line here will get its, it's, it's the priority line. It's taking a priority feed from the bottom conveyor and a priority feed from this top conveyor until it gets its 780 items per minute. So this bottom line you can see there's no stutters in this at all. It is a pure 780 items per minute getting dumped into this awesome sink and going to wherever it needs to go. Then it's overflowing and you can see the materials shooting through on the overflow on the top conveyor for the top line. And then it's coming through this little side conveyor up to the top conveyor for the bottom line. And so basically what this does is this prioritizes your 780 items going in on the bottom conveyor. And we now have 420 items per minute going into the top conveyor. And the way you know this is working correctly is before you get to these splitters and mergers that you have here, look at the flow of the product going in. 
If you're seeing zero stutter, everything is flying in there at max conveyor speed and nothing is getting backed up. You can see if there's stutter. You can see if there's backing up because these little lines that are in between the splitters where it kind of flags whether or not there's overflow, you can see this line here and this line down here. They're slightly stuttering. If you have that coming in on your input side, you're not balanced correctly and there's somewhere that is a mistake. So your input side should be flowing no stutters and then your output side you should have a perfectly smooth 780 items per minute and then all of the remainder are running on the top conveyor. I know that this seems really simple but I wasn't thinking and I was making the mistake. I'm sure I'm not the only one that's out there. Okay, just to prove, uh, do, do one more final proof of concept for our conveyor merge and splitting. Um, I did go and find another line. There's actually a normal node that's right over there we brought over here. So that's 600 items per minute we're adding to this to give us a total of 1800 items per minute that we're going to merge into two conveyors of 780 and one conveyor of 240. So I have them all labeled off here. We have four conveyors that are running 300 items per minute. And for our demo, we are using Mark V conveyors for absolutely everything. And then we have one conveyor up here that is 600 items per minute. So let's start with our first set of merging. We have two 300s that we are combining. That equals 600. I know that, that's a strange concept, but there's there's math for you in its glory. With that said, 600 obviously is less than what our maximum capability is of these conveyors, so we don't have to worry about overflow balancing. So we're just taking 300 and 300, and we're going to merge it right here to get us a 600 item per minute line. Okay, so now we have this 600 line, and our next conveyor is another 300 that we're adding to it, giving us a total of 900, which is now over that 780 items per minute. So 600 is feeding, feeding into this bottom smart splitter and we are telling it, I want everything to go through the center. But if there's any overflow, shoot it out this left side and bring it up to the next conveyor. And the same thing's happening with this 300 line is we're hitting this smart splitter. I'm telling it, I want you to send everything you can down to the lower conveyor to get it up to that 780 mark. And if there's any overflow, let it go through the center. Okay, not a problem. That's taken care of. So then we have now what that equals is 780 items per minute flying through that end. No issues. It's cruising. And then on this line, we have 120 items per minute that's coming through on this line. Perfect. We have another 300 line that we're dealing with. Well, 300 plus 120. We're not hitting that threshold where we need to deal with overflow. So those are just merging together. And that's giving us another line of 420 items per minute. That's this line right here. Okay. We've now taken care of four of our conveyor lines that we've got coming into all this. So our next line now is another 600 items per minute that's coming down here. Perfect, so 600 plus 420, that is more than 780 items per minute. So that means we need to do our overflow balancing. So 420 is feeding into this splitter. We have it telling it, dump as much as you can into this conveyor. If there's any overflow, let it go out and up to the next conveyor. Then we're taking this 600 line. It's coming into this next smart splitter. We're telling it, dump as much as you can into this line to get it to 780. If there's any overflow, proceed through to this conveyor. So what does that get us? Now on the output side, we have our first 780 line that happened way back there. We now have our second 780 item line that's happening right here. And then our remainder line of 240 items per minute dumping into that awesome sink or factory line, whatever it ends up being 
your production line. So this is how we've been able to take a mass amount of conveyors that are all feeding in at different variable rates, combining them down, reducing them down to be able to get max conveyors and an overflow conveyor doing what they need to do. I know now that I've gone and explained this, it's simple, it makes sense. But when I was initially dealing it with it for my coal plant, that, that massive coal plant in the, the one of the previous videos I uploaded where I'm dealing with over 23,500 coal per minute and 1,572 coal generators, every once in a while, my lines would starve out. And I'd be like, what's going on? I mathematically already figured it out. And it's because I was just thinking, oh, well, the first line that's going into the center is a priority line and the next one's just going to feed in. I didn't, I didn't load balance both sides of the conveyor which caused lines to starve out. Well, once I went back and I fixed those lines and everything's flowing over there, it's I've got 30 conveyors of 780 items per minute of coal running seamlessly into their various factories making, making power, lots of power, and it's, it's running, running smoothly now. And I figured if I've made this mistake, I mean, I'm, not the sharpest tool in the shed, but somebody else, somebody else out there may have made the exact same mistake. And I wanted to kind of show what I did to be able to solve that. And hopefully this can help you out in your own factory builds later on when you're dealing with, you know, larger scale factories and you're trying to merge in all kinds of external sources. So please reach down, hit the like button on this video if you found this useful. Um, leave a comment. Let me know. Did you have you ran into this same issue where you thought you had it balanced out, but it wasn't balancing properly? Was this information useful to you or was this like, dude, this was a no brainer. You didn't have to do a video for this because this is just common sense. Well, initially for me, it wasn't common sense. And I figured somebody else out there might get some useful information out of this. So I figured I'd do a video and let you know my troubleshooting process to be able to get to there. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel. That would be fantastic. It would be very satisfactory if you subscribe to my channel. And um, you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at TerraceDWDC. With that all said, guys, hopefully your factories will become more efficient now with this little tip and trick that I've showed you here. So have yourself a good one, and we will see you in the next one.